get my car evaluated or appraised as my insurance company says. Stay in the middle of two lanes. Okay, thank you. Um, so we're on the way now. Um, uh, as you guys know from my previous video, I was uh, in a car accident. A car backed into me and they drove off and I saw them drive off with my own eyes. And yeah, I'm actually gonna include footage of the car and me running after it, which I don't advise doing, but here it is. I'm still really angry about it. I can't believe this person just hit, hit my car and left. But it's it's over now. I've talked to my insurance company and it's gonna be handled as an uninsured motorist um, claim. Um, and luckily, you know, I have a pretty clean driving record so hopefully it won't affect my payments. But what really gets me is I'm paying 250 bucks or I'm 250 at least. Uh, for the accident that wasn't my fault. So I'm paying a $250 mistake, but it, I know it could have been worse. Um, I'm glad I wasn't injured. I am uh, just angry that people do stuff like that and avoid justice. So um, I'm gonna see you guys whenever I'm at um, the uh, I think it, collision repair. So I'm gonna see you guys there and kinda show you the damage. It's not bad, at least I, to the appearance of it. But um, I'll show you guys and we'll talk to how much it's going to cost and everything. And then I'm going to make dinner for you guys. Okay. Um, I'll see you when I get to the place. Bye. So we're here. I went to the wrong place. Did not know they had two locations. But I made it. Um, he just took photos of the car, the outside, <coughs> and the um, <coughs> inside. I think he's coming out now. So let's see what he says. Easiest way to read this, that's labor time for the body technician, paint time for the paint technician. Brings it to that right now. Okay. Now there's potentially damage behind the cover. I just don't think there is. Uh, you've got an absorber and a metal bar. Okay. Uh, as of right now, it looks like it's under your deductible. So. But uh, so far it's $520.50. Say that again. So that's the price, five five hundred and twenty dollars and fifty four cents. Correct, correct. Wait, my deductible is um, so it's two fifty. No. They may not have changed it yet. It was, a lot of times they don't until everything goes through. Yeah, it was uninsured. Okay, perfect. So we're at Walmart, and I have questions. Like, I almost another car almost hit me again. So, questions if. You're driving straight down here, and then like say this car right here, somebody parked in a parking spot, they pull out. Don't you have the right of way? Like if you're driving straight down the aisle and somebody's backing out or pulling out, the person driving in the aisle has the right of way. Please let me know if that's right. Um, anyway, so about to go into Walmart and grab a few things. So I'll put my mask on and I'll see you guys inside. Precious one. Where's the date? October 27th. What day is it? The day is finished. Um, yeah. So I need hopes and prayers. That's also my shopping list. Hopes and prayers. This is everything we're getting for dinner. So we are in the kitchen and we're about to get started. I am going to pull my hair back and I think I have all the ingredients set out. Okay, so pretty much um, for this recipe, we're going to use two chicken breasts and we are going to stuff it with spinach. Um, also with cheese, 
sun-dried tomatoes, and I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. Um, so I'm just gonna show me preparing it, and I'm gonna record that, okay? All right, so let's get started. So here's the chicken, here's the cheese. I'm also gonna make um, cauliflower potatoes, and that's the oven. I just preheated it to 400. Um, here's the spinach, and here's the sun-dried tomatoes. So let's go ahead and prep this and get it ready. All right, so now we're cutting open the chicken breast and we're gonna season it with pepper, salt, and garlic powder on both sides. So now we're adding um, sun-dried tomatoes. I went and rinsed the oil off and just put them on both chicken breasts. Now we're adding Swiss cheese. Um, I had one slice per breast, just ripped it in half, and just added it on there. It's time to add the spinach. So just grab a handful of spinach and add it to the chicken breast. Now let's add some diced onions. So just grab a handful and put it on each chicken breast. So we're gonna fold it over and hold it together by adding toothpicks. Okay, so pretty much I am waiting for these to get hot so I can sear them. And then we're gonna pop them in the oven. So it's taking a minute for it to heat up and I don't want you guys just to sit here watching something heat up. So I'm going to clean up around the kitchen and then um, hopefully once these are seared, I can show you that and then we'll pop them in the oven. All right, using a skillet, we're gonna sear the top and bottom of the chicken breast and then pop it right into the oven. This is how they're looking so far. The light is not working, but it looks like it's coming through pretty well. So I also decided to put some green beans on along with the cauliflower. I am waiting for this to boil so I can go ahead and I'm supposed to boil it for like 10 minutes. Then we're gonna mash it up. The chicken's almost done, so <sighs> hopefully I can get this finished. So here's the most interesting part. This is me cutting up the cauliflower that I'm going to boil so we can make the uh, garlic cauliflower mashed potatoes. adding in garlic to the pot and we're going to let it boil and I don't need to chop it up because it boiling and me mashing it it's just kind of gonna work itself itself out in a good way like a good story all right so this is looking pretty amazing I flipped it already just so it can get a nice good cook on both sides um, it says to cook it for 20 minutes but with chicken I want to be safe I've got a really sensitive stomach so I'm probably gonna pull this out with the next minute or two and we're gonna let it sit. Oh, and the garlic, garlic um, cauliflower. It's cooking, it should be done another four minutes. Green beans are cooking. Just enjoy the sizzle. I'm gonna cut it open to make sure that it's done. And yeah, about two and a half more minutes and we're ready. This took a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. All right, so I am sweating. Um, the cauliflower and mashed potatoes were a lot more difficult to make than expected. I am exhausted, but now it's time to plate the food and then we'll taste it and see if I did good or not. Like, we'll see how it is. All right, I'm hungry, let's go. <laughs> All right guys, so here she is. You guys can't even see the steam, like this is hot. So what we have, we have the garlic um, cauliflower mashed potatoes. We have the stuffed chicken breast with um, Swiss cheese, spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, onion, and then I have green beans, and yes, there's bacon in it. We can live a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna taste it. I already cut it up, then I got the toothpicks out. Don't tell me how I got it out, but I got them out one way or another. All right, so now I'm gonna taste it. This is the stuffed chicken breast. <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm. 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 We're gonna try the garlic mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. I'm so good. We even need some salt and pepper, but not too bad. So next we're trying the green beans, which I know will be good. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to go devour this. Um, if you would, please like this video and please subscribe. And if you like more cooking videos, let me know. This was actually really fun to do. And it's very healthy, so but have a great day. Have a good night. Stay safe and be safe when you're driving.